Sí, amigo. Fando chap, 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 slow. Chap, chap, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six. Subscribers, 6:30 in the morning, and I'm up shooting tutorial for you guys for the world. <laughs> Welcome once again, Zion here with another tutorial. This one on acoustic guitar. Bob Marley's One Drop. If this is your very first time tuning into my channel, you bump, you trip, you drop, fall, however you got here, hit that red button down there. That's a subscribe button. This channel caters for reggae, ska, soca, anything island. I've been doing much of those, but drop your request down in the comment section and I'll take care of that for you. Hit that red button, hit the notification bell, hit all so whenever I post a new video tutorial, whatever I put here on YouTube, you won't miss it, you'll be updated. You have some more acoustic, grab your guitars, let's go. Alright, so here we go. Bob Marley's one drop on acoustic guitar. Now, I like to arrange my songs where you can hear a little bit of bass, a little bit of something, not just strumming. Alright, because reggae music, if you're gonna just play this strumming on your acoustic guitar, then especially if you're playing songs that you know you're playing the same chords over and over, it can get monotonous. Alright, so you do not really want that. You want to add a little bit of something to it. Now, I did not arrange this too hard. Alright, so um, I tried my best to go as easy as possible. You know? So, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Not too much talking. So, alright. So, you um, we're in the key of C. This song is in the key of C. Right? So, now, this song has four chords. Four chords. It's a one, six, two to a five okay now if i was supposed to play it on electric i'll play up here but now i'm playing it acoustic you want to get that round warm sound you know what i mean and plus it's you alone all right so um here we go it's early in the mornings so i won't be singing all right my voice is not ready for singing so here we go so that's the first card c you want to buy the whole third fret place um that ring finger on the second third and fourth string of the fifth fret last string is optional all right so that's your first card right there the second card is going to be a minor bar the fifth fret place that ring finger and ring finger on the fifth string seventh fret pinky below that's a minor i play a minor seven so i lift the pinky finger all right sweeter much sweeter then you go to d minor by the whole fifth fret place the middle finger on the second string sixth fret pinky finger on the third string 7th fret, ring finger on the 4th string, 7th fret. Then to your G, 3rd fret, 
point your finger bar in the third fret, middle finger, third string, fourth fret, pinky finger, fourth string, fifth fret, ring finger, fifth string, fifth fret. So those are your four cards that you'll be using. All right? So you can always go ahead and Feel it in the one drop And we feel that that the rap We're making a one stop <laughs> you know, we can go ahead and just do that and you know and enjoy yourself. But you wanna be able to start the song, of course, the intro, which is the you want to be the one to the two. You know, and also you wanna add that little bass line to it. Right? So, so here we go. So you wanna bar that. So instead of strumming for the intro, you're gonna pull. So you want to like you're grabbing. So it's gonna be like that. So this is where you place those fingers. Like that. You know? Pop further down, my bad. Here we go. And then thumb. Alright? Thumb is gonna go down. So here we go. So it goes something like this. See that? Then the next card will go. All right. It's really not hard, you know. So here we go again. So once you play that, you're get you're in the ready. Thumb down. Then you want to place that middle finger, that middle finger right there. Yeah, that middle finger. <laughs> Alright, anyways, enough with the joke. Eh? See this? Again, look, pay attention. So you down, then middle finger, then thumb to the fifth string, and then everything. So you get. I remember, guys, just practice slow, practice slow. You know, in order for you to be able to play it fast. So here we go again. Now you're going to make a real quick jump here to the two. But you're just going to lift the pinky finger. You want to play that D minus seven. Try to make, not, not make this tutorial too long. So. Play the same thing again. Jump. To the D minor seventh. Or you even want to play the D minor. You know it's your choice. So I want to play two rounds of that. So you go. So now you're in the song. Probably you're the one singing. Of course, you can sing. So I arrange it a way where the timing, you know, with the drum, the one drop, will be easy for you. So you can play it here. All right. You get a thicker sound. But what I do, I play. I play on the strings also. While the thumb is hitting this, 
it, a little bit of you're getting a little bit of cards. See, we get feel it in the one. See that? See, so that's what I do right there to give it that little sound. You know, so I mean, it's reggae, it's that one drop, you want to drop the, it's that, that's the bass drop, that's the kick. You get what I mean? Alright, so, so you're going to strum. So that's a C major, A minor 7th, D minor 7th, back to G major. Then you add your... No, you want to add the slide. Just know that you slide first. Strike. Okay? I know you're following me. I know you guys are going to get it. You know, and you're going to have a lot of fun with this. Alright? Just remember where you're learning. <laughs> yeah, man. So, again. So, here we go from the top. Let's play it slow. Oh, yeah. Feel it in the wonder And I still find time to write So making it one stop Generation Drum beat Ah, my bad I was trying to put that there, but <laughs> it can. I just never have it prepared. Um, prepared. You know, I'm making a lot of, talking a lot of crap here. But yeah, man, let's go again. So yeah. So that's basically how you start it. All right. I honestly did not put a lot of practice into this because I've been playing guitar like that for a little while. Now, you know, and I kind of have an understanding. So for you to get there, I want you guys to practice slow. Don't just jump and see something on YouTube and say, okay, you, you, sh you think you should be able to. Because trust me, sometimes people practice for months in order to present something to you guys. So just keep that in mind. Right? If you realize that you're practicing and you're getting a bit frustrated, just rest it for a bit and come back. You know, it, it's all right. You know, so here we go again. So, so yeah. So when you strike, so you can hit it here if you want to, but it, it depends on how deep you want your kick to be you know and if you want to tune your guitar with a little bit of reverb but do remember it's an acoustic so you might get a little bit of feedback you do not really want that so tune it properly so here we go from the top 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 slow top top two three four two three four five six You have to, have to coordinate, you know, once you get it to sync and everything, you'll be all right. So, yeah, that's basically what it is right there. That's basically the sound, you know. I hope I was not moving too fast for you guys, but like I said, that's basically it. You do not want to be playing your guitar and just playing. Imagine. I mean, if you're okay with that, then you can go ahead and play that. So, you can hear every, every, every now and then you can hear a little bit of something in the middle. That's me playing. You know, you know, give it a little bit of so it rings. All right, so um, yeah, that's basically it. You know, go ahead and be great. Blessed love, Zion.